Hello lovely friends. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Kayleen and today we have some Alyssa Cone turn exercises. All you're gonna need is a little bit of space and something to hold on to. I should make it a different chair because this is a little bit low. You want something that's gonna stay at a good height for when you're in releve and as well as just standing in place. So let's switch this. Okay. So I'm gonna do these exercises real time with you. I will say I am out of shape dance technique wise. And so if you're gonna be a hater and hate on my technique, you can just leave or I'm gonna delete your comment probably because this is a learning zone. It's a safe place. We're really gonna work on strengthening your legs, finding the right placement so that when you go to actually do your turns, everything is in the right place and you can just Keep on going and going. I do have a dedicated video talking about Alsacone turn technique, and I will put that here as well as down below. If you wanna check that out now or after you finish these exercises. My assistant, Sweet Pea. Okay, so we're gonna start with single leg releves. So all I'm gonna do is go plie, releve, plie, releve, eight times. And on the eighth one, we're gonna hold, try and let go of the bar. Make sure that your spine is neutral. So you don't want to be tucked under, but you also don't want to be sticking your spine out. Make sure your ribs are not flared out, that you're closing them in. Almost feel like you have a zipper zipping you up. It's really important to do these releves properly and learn how to position your body so that when you go to do all of your turns, or even when you're doing pirouettes, your body knows the correct placement. And this whole entire time, I'm keeping this like super straight. I'm engaging my turnout from my glute muscles and I'm making sure to go straight down and straight up. Are y'all ready? She's ready. So eight single leg releves, shake it out, do it again, we'll switch sides. Here we go. Five, six, seven, plie. And up, plie, and up, three, up, four, halfway there. Make sure you're really straightening. Chin is lifted, your arms are still strong. Last one, seven and eight, hold it. Try and let go if you can. Kind of hard to talk while I do this. Hold it and relax. Shake it out for a second. Wanna do that again? Ready? Five, six, five, six, seven, and plie. And up, plie, releve. Nice and strong. Push through the floor. Keep your ribs closed. Pulling up through your spine. Four, three, two, one, and hold. Now my legs burn in a little bit, both of them. Really squeeze your turn out to try and hold this position. See if I can hold it. Ooh. My balance is real off. One more eight count and relax. All right, let's switch to the other side. Right away, here we go. And five, six, seven, and plie. And up, plie, and up. Really important to work on both sides. Keep your hips square to the front. Six, and seven, and eight, now we hold. Try and let go. Make sure that you're not arching your back. One more eight count. Hold it. I can't hold it, my bones are so bad. And relax. Shake it out. Let me restart this song. And then we will continue. Alright, ready? Five, six, five, six, seven, and plie. Up, two, really push through the floor. Three, up, deep plie, 
okay, and then push up. Straighten both knees. Six, seven, last one, make it strong. Hold it. Squeeze your booty. Use your turn out. It's so hard to talk and balance. Point your toe. Push, push, push. Five, six, seven, relax. Good, shake that out. Move back to the other side. All right, now that we've worked that supporting leg just a little bit, we're gonna move on and work on strengthening this extended leg. So go ahead and find your first position, tondo your foot to the front, and then start to lift this foot off of the ground and see how high you can get it without compromising your turnout, so without lifting this hip and without turning it in parallel, okay? See how high you can get it. It might not be at 90 degrees, okay? If it is, that's wonderful. But now what I want you to do is see if you're able to take it out to the side from there. Maybe you can get it all the way up here, but as you start bringing it to the side, you're just not strong enough to hold it. That's okay. I would rather see you keep it consistent and a little bit lower, so staying at the same height from the floor all the way around, than doing like a dipping motion where you're going like this, okay? So be honest with yourself. Find the spot that you're able to hold it. It should feel a little bit uncomfortable. Like push yourself a little bit to get it high, but don't try and get it high and start turning it in, or don't try and lift your hip as you bring it to the side. Start with your leg lifted up out in front. You're gonna go plie, open to the side. Plie, open to the side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Make sure that you're also not bringing it too far past your natural turnout. So you don't want it coming out straight side because most people don't have the turnout to support that. It might be a little bit in front of you. See, even here for me, I'm losing my turnout. So I probably will want to keep it right up here. So all we're doing is plie and open. Plie and open. Everything we talked about with that first exercise will still apply. Ready? Five, six, five, six, seven, and plie. Open, plie, and open. Three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight. Relax. We're gonna do that again.
plie, open as you releve. Maintaining everything that we just talked about, we're just adding the releve in, and this is gonna add an additional challenge because you're going to want to open out too far. You're gonna wanna open out your ribs, you're gonna wanna open your leg out all the way to the side. It's okay if it feels super challenging. It's challenging for me because I haven't done it in a long time. I'm sweating, muscles are a little sore. That's okay, I believe in you. Just know that all you have to do once you have this solidified is add in the turn. And you will have beautiful Osicom turns. So let's try this one. We'll do the same thing, eight count, take a break, eight count, switch sides, repeat. I am going to torture you a little bit and make this one a bit slower, but that's just because I want you to concentrate on not overextending, overarching your back. I want you to keep everything in place, so I'm gonna keep it a little bit slower. Ready? Five, six, seven, and plie. Open. Two. Three. Four. Push through the floor. Halfway there. Take it out. Use it out. Let's try that again. Make this one even better. Square those hips to the front. And back. Six. Five. Six. Seven. Go. Plie. And open. Two. Three. And up. Four. You got it. Five. Woo, my rotation's back. And seven. Last one, eight. Shake it out. Other side. Here we go. Squeeze those booty cheeks. Five, six, five, six, seven, Ooh, music's off. Hold on. Five, six, five, six, seven, and clear. Open. Two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. Relax. Only one more set. Here we go. Six, five, six, seven, and plie. Nice and strong. Watch your ribs. Three, four. This music's very weird. Is that eight yet? Let's do two more. And eight. Relax. It wouldn't be right if I didn't incorporate some actual alsicone turns into this video. If you don't have space or you don't have the proper flooring to do this, please feel free to exit out of this video now or you know, go watch one of my other videos. If you do have space, let's just do a few alsicone turns, trying to keep in mind all of the placement that we just worked on. Let's just go, hold one, two, three, four. Go slide out on five. You're gonna do a pas de bourre. So go back, side, Front, nice fourth position, nice upper body alignment. What is that? Five, six, seven, eight. Turning, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it into a pirouette. One, two, if you can, three, out on four. If you can't do that many alicicone turns, do as many as you can. Maybe you just go five, six, seven, eight. You do two, pull it into a pirouette, and land. Whatever works for you. All right, let's do this. Remember, hold one, two, three, four, but I'll count you off from five. Okay, ready? Five, six, five, six, seven, hold one, two, three, four, five, six, one, three, five, Hold one, two, three. 
three, go five, six, seven, one, three, five. Woo! Now the left, I don't know if I can even do three, but this is the learning zone. Let's see how it goes. Do your best. Here we go. Five, six, five, six, seven, hold, one, two, three. Five, six, seven, fight for it. That was not good, but that's okay. We'll try again. Ready? Five, six, seven, hold, one, two, three, go, five, six, seven, one, three, five, Woo single, nice, shake it out. Alrighty, hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what other kinds of exercises you like to see, other kinds of videos you'd like to see. Come join me over on Instagram for extra stuff that I post about my life and random things. And I will see you next week. Keep practicing those Alsa Cone turns. Bye.